now i request our president to felicitate uh, our ch special chief guest dr sri uh, srimati vakati karna ias secretary to government director of school education and former commissioner of health uh, medical and family welfare government of telangana for her outstanding contribution in the healthcare sector and please join other dignitaries also our immediate past president and uh, senior vp mila jaydev sir uh, vp vice president advisor vp acharya sir uh, good evening friends uh, madam is now uh, she is a secretary for uh, education and formerly he was in health and family welfare and her contribution to the state of Teng telangana is immense one is a technology intervention in healthcare number two is mother and baby care another is all of us we are we read uh, day in and day out on the K kcr kit and many other initiatives of madam and uh, which is going to going for uh, going in a very long run to help so it is uh, rarely it is remembered after the person leaves her post and sh the time we sh uh, we reached to her she says it was my duty i paid for it uh, madam you are very very humble the time we, the person leaves the chair is remembered it's true respect for the person and will be certainly bothering you for the quality and affordable health for all telangana vision 2030 document i just like uh, friend dr gokhale garu to add a couple of words for me acharya yeah the heart specialist i know of a few areas where she contributed enormously i actually met her a few years back about 3 years back and uh, that time she is in uh, health sector and after that Usmania Hospital, you know, the premier institute in this uh, combined Telugu states, the first one. Everyone, when you say medical college, the number one medical college and hospital is, uh, has always been a Usmania. And for that, to get a cath lab was a humongous task. Very, very difficult. And she made it happen. And today, Usmania Hospital has got an excellent cath lab where a common... <laughs> common man can go there and get cardiac investigations done you took almost the people have been asking for it for almost 5 to 10 years i know of that but she made it possible the other area where she contributed enormously sitting in that chair was managing patients with heart attack what is called stemi program that means we know the commonest problem is a heart attack when a heart attack happens anyway in the city we try to run to the corporate hospitals but what about a common man what about all these people in the periphery where we know 60% of the population or more lives in the rural areas and she made this hub and spoke model where all the medical colleges she made sure that they have cath labs and there are the peripheral centers like a few phcs and a few district hospitals where doctors are trained on identifying heart attacks and from there she put the you made use of technology the centers like osmania warangal and these medical colleges where there are a lot of cardiologists they immediately send it by whatsapp or through the technology the ecg and in 5 minutes these people diagnose and they tell them how to treat it and once they are treated using our ambulance services they are shifted to the primary center where there are cath labs and this is a terrific model and this is a model which is probably will be emulated by many states in this country and she contributed enormously for the health i mean this is what we want to see we all say it is the government's responsibility to provide health and education but you know it's very easy to say and very difficult to do we all recognize that behind the scenes behind the screens of how difficult it is for the government but people like her are they are the pillars who are taking this forward and i'm sure one day people like her will make these things happen that every common man can stay healthy can get all the healthcare services provided in a planned manner it is today anyone can walk into the corporate with a young fellow but then the real needy people are not getting the services models like this hub and spoke model i mean there is a fantastic idea and uh, that is how many problems can be sorted out thank you madam for your contribution thank you.
thank you all now i invite madam to address the gathering Good evening to all of you. Uh, thank the FTCCI uh, for this on this uh, occasion. And deeply embarrassed uh, about the citation. It's a part of our job uh, that we do the work we do. We sit in chairs where decisions can be made. Often we are not equipped to make these decisions, but we do them, and sometimes it works out. But I thought I'll share with you uh, some uh, general. Uh, aspects of healthcare. We have experts like uh, Dr. Gokhale, who will talk to us about heart. Honored to have BP Acharya sir, who's been a model for a lot of us in service. I was in uh, Barangal working as collector. When I first came across, you always talk about health being an important subject on which we have to work on. It struck home when I was collector Barangal in the year 2015. We had a very good monsoon. All of you understand that we are an agrarian economy where more than 70% of the population depends on agriculture and allied activities in districts. It, the percentage is higher. We had a very good monsoon. Cotton was the crop being grown in those areas. I mean, mostly in 2015, 14, 15, 16, more than two and a half lakh hectares of cotton. International market was very good. Monsoon was very, very good. crop was very good that is the year when government had uh, given uh, paid or uh, written off the loans of the farmers so you had farmer loans being uh, written off you had a very good monsoon you had very good returns for the crop yet uh, in the month of august september we started having suicides and spate of suicides one after the other and then as a collector it's a very helpless situation then when we went back and saw it is uh, not so much the agrarian crisis but it is health and education uh, which really are, are you know empty out the pockets of the poor people people take loans for a health episode and they go off into a debt and uh, the suicides were because of an education loan or a health episode so that's when uh, you know i started working on health care and public health care which is not affordable uh, for the common man uh, we started working on improving of government hospitals i just wrote down a few things that telangana has done in the last few years because i am now in education higher education as well so my head space in education so i've written down a few things uh, <coughs> it is emerging as a front runner in public health care niti aayog has ranked the telangana state as number 3 in a lot of uh, health indices they have a complex health index score on which telangana for the last 2 to 3 years has been emerging we are now only behind kerala and maharashtra we have also beaten tamil nadu which was investing in public health care uh, for more than 20 years now consistently we have also recorded and uh, nfhs and srs state that we have recorded the highest increase of uh, institutional deliveries in public facilities uh, which means that for a delivery uh, the family does not have to spend uh, 45 to 50000 uh, in c sections and various procedures we have also recorded the steepest rate of decrease in the maternal mortality rate we are now at 46 uh, again beating uh, tamil nadu which is there we are again behind only kerala and maharashtra we also beaten andhra pradesh uh, uh, which is you know we were together even 4 years ago imr we are at 23 we have already reached the sdg goals communicable diseases are somewhat under control or more than somewhat under control malaria we have seen 300 degrees a decrease dengue is still uh, there in some of the parts tb we are uh, now the fastest uh, decreasing tb rates uh, in the country one of the fastest decreasing rates non communicable diseases where heart also plays a role uh, contributes to about 60% 65% of our disease burden so we do have now a universal diabetes and hypertension uh, screening that happens more than 15 lakh patients 
uh, online are given these uh, medicines. Uh, Dr. Gokhale has already spoken about the STEMI project we have. We are on the anvil of setting up a cancer care uh, network where cancer is identified and uh, uh, mammograms are being set up and we have an MOU uh, with the tertiary care hospitals to do it. We have the Telangana Diagnostics which takes care of the diagnostics where anybody can walk into a primary health center uh, in in the state and can give their blood samples. You can actually go to the Google Play Store and download the Telangana Diagnostics app and you get 56 types of blood test results in your phone uh, through the SMS. Every day we do testing of more than 25,000. I left the department about five months ago. Uh, so uh, diagnostics is one thing that uh, we have uh, taken care of. Technology has played a very big role uh, in getting Telangana where it is today. Our frontline workers all have tabs and phones where they actually uh, are able to enter the various uh, parameters and the 35, 36 registers which used to be written manually. Now uh, it is all online and uh, registers are printed automatically reducing the work burden. Uh, by two to three hours. I, I've been in health department uh, twice, between 16 to 18, where I came across uh, Dr. Gokhale and uh, the fine heart uh, that uh, Mr. Bakchi uh, was talking about when he wanted to help us to set up a heart uh, center in one of the medical colleges. Again, during the COVID, I came back. I was fortunate to see the lion-hearted, uh, courageous frontline warriors. And I would like all of us to clap for them because in, uh, in July, when I joined, I thought we should go around to tell them that we are with them. July of 2020, vaccination was nowhere in sight. And I visited primary health center after primary health centers. We had young doctors young mothers who left their families behind for months together, no cure in sight. They became, uh, you know, community specialists, development professionals in the front line fighting it out. Our ASHAs, a &Ms. I worked in a department, you know, I know government is often uh, uh, looked at in the negative light, but I worked in a department where there was no Sunday for two years. And I didn't see a single union, a single worker say, I left my family behind, what are you, there was no anger. There was this tremendous courage and tremendous uh, heroism that I saw in all the young doctors and young ASHA workers and a &Ms who have worked tirelessly. And for me, that's the story I carry back home uh, whenever I went. In the third wave, second wave, when there were so many deaths, I saw in our government hospitals, ambulances, because they couldn't aff afford private health care. You had ambulances in queues, you know, like you had 100 of them, 200 of them. Doctors became family to those critical care patients who didn't have families, whose families could not come. They did the burials. They were their parents. They were their sisters and brothers. I saw them. I actually know of a person who was a critical care head of NIMS who carried flasks of coffee from her home because the critical care patients were not getting their own family to do it. So I, uh, so for me, I think that is what uh, has triumphed and I think that is the triumph of humanity and that is what I choose to carry with me and I think that is what should take us forward. It's only through constructive partnerships uh, through technology and also a certain introspection by all of us to dream of an inclusive, equitable society. Only then this society can grow and develop. So while there are challenges uh, with the, a body like FTCCI which comes forward to look, uh, to work on healthcare, because we do not know, we won one battle, we won two battles, but if we have to win the war, then I think all of us have to work together. All of us have to look at, 
keep the poor man in the center stage because in service as acharya sir would know we all work with poor man and a poor man's life is the cheapest it is very very cheap every life is precious and i am sure all of us will work on it so thank you very much for this honor thank you so much madam um as a token of honor of guest presence we are donating uh, dictionaries to government school children so i request president to present a green certificate to our chief guest and guest of honor thank you all this inaugural session continue with the technical session also so uh, i request all the dignitaries uh, come off the dais so that we can start the technical session